Hello YouTube. How was Super Bowl Sunday? I am going to try to get through my review of Tekken without going crazy or missing any details. I am going to try to get through the video without any vo vocalized pauses, you know, like, uh, or, or, um, oh, <laughs> I did it again. Okay, so first of all, the menu, the menu is still not my favorite menu. It's kind of complicated to use and it's kind of reminds me a lot of Call of Duty there is the avatar mode oh hold on let me backtrack a little bit I Played a little bit more Tekken. It's grown on me a little bit. But. The. The combos. In. That game. They are way too. It's way too easy. To do a combo. And I know that. Some people might, you know, like that, but, um, there I go again. <laughs> I prefer, you know, to work a little bit harder to do the combos. So, you have that heat attack thing... And you had that in Tekken 7, I suppose. You, um, oh, man, there it is again. In Tekken 7, spoiler alert, by the way, for anyone who hasn't played and beaten Tekken 7, you kill Haihachi Mishima, you know, the antagonist or protagonist, whatever, that was harassing Jin or Kazea, whatever his name is. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure which one really. I, I believe it's Kazea. If I'm pronouncing his name correctly, I'm not sure. The. So in this one. The main boss is Kazuya, or Kazuya, whatever his name is. And then Jin is like the other main character. So... Yeah, I'm not going to ruin the story for you. I mean, I have not beat the story, so I guess I could probably tell you what I have seen. So, I guess Jin and Kazea, you know, they get into a big fight and whatever and 
Jin's devil powers come out, and Kazea's devil powers come out, and they do this battle at, of the devils, you know? And, I mean, I find it very demonic. Uh, <laughs> there it goes again. I find it very demonic. And I, you know, I'm love to, I would love to say that I, I'm not going to play the game for that reason, but I'm still going to play the game. I'm not a fan of the dress-up mode. You know, you can customize your characters. Like, they have some ridiculous stuff, ridiculous ways that you can customize your characters. That That's not classic Tekken, but I guess, you know, they figure in with the new and out with the old. So they've got Tekken Ball, which they had Tekken Ball in Tekken 3. They, um, there it goes again with the vocalized pauses. Supposedly, vocalized pauses, um, portray insecurity. Or non, I forget. Let's move on with the review, because that's not important. Okay, so I like the arcade mode. The arcade mode is pretty much the same. I mean, except for the number of rounds. Um, again, with the um. Okay, so, um. The I played a little bit more of the story than that. Uh, uh, Nina, I got to a part in the story where Nina was commanded by her boss with, you know, an army of Jack 8, uh, for whatever reason, to go out and capture Jin. Um... But that's not the whole story. I just can't remember everything that... And I should, because... You know, it wasn't very much time. There was more... There was more, uh... Gameplay... Than story... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there wasn't more gameplay than story. But in all the previous games, 
when you beat when you beat arcade mode there was like an ending cinematic i don't remember there being any 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 ending cinematics in this game however there is like a uh, movie clip mode no it's studio mode or something like that the characters don't look like the characters they're difficult to recognize I mean um King still looks the same. A couple more characters like Brian and Kuma still look the same. And that other bear, Panda, still looks the same. Jin Jin looks the same, and I guess Kazea looks the same, but a lot of the characters are unrecognizable, like, uh, like Paul, I c can't recognize him. I'm having a hard time recognizing Paul. I'm having a hard time recognizing Nina. I haven't used very many other characters, so I don't know what they look like. As for the avatar mode, I haven't done I haven't played very much of the avatar mode so I don't know a lot about that but I'm not a super big fan of it however that is one way that you unlock stuff you uh there i go with the vocalized pauses i'm trying to correct that i thought that added inflection I, if you do it right. Um, yeah, I, there's the jukebox. I haven't played around with the jukebox very much, but there's tracks from all eight Tekken games on there and then there's the movie mode with tracks from er with videos from all eight Tekken games I'm not sure what all the story is going to entail i know at one point sp spoiler alert you're probably going to kill kazaya just so at first i thought Jin was Kazaya and Kazaya was Jin. But 
I guess it's the opposite way around because because I I told you in my first video when I was freaking out that um or was it my second video that I grew up with Tekken my first PlayStation game was the original Tekken. They didn't have all this fancy crap in there for Pete's sake. Half of the characters that they have now were not in there. And one of the one of the things that I don't like about Tekken 8 is that you can't unlock any characters. There's no secret characters. And I guess I might be pleasantly surprised there. I might find out that you can unlock some characters, but the trophies were extremely easy to get and I'm sure there are some difficult ones in there but mostly the trophies were way simple I was getting like five trophies per battle sorry that's probably a little bit of an exaggeration but I was getting a bunch of trophies uh, and I wasn't doing anything but playing the game. So I'm trying to think what else I can go on about the you you have to be online as far as i know to play the story you have to be on the server to play the story so when the server goes down when they stop supporting it people aren't gonna be able to play Tekken 8 anymore um, there I go with the vocalized pause again. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that I want to talk about? I haven't played any online games yet I haven't uh, yeah I haven't played practice mode or I haven't I didn't even play half of the t t tutorials you know there's that Heat, heat attack or whatever it's called. And then there's the little bar below your health. And that, I don't know if that has to do with your heat attack. But you can like attack the enemy a couple of times. And then use your... use your heat attack and you know you pretty much won the battle right there so it's like no contest so you could win battles really easily and I have not played on hard mode yet. 
I played on easy and I played on medium and I really didn't have a problem. It there was a noticeable difference, but I didn't uh, have any problems at all. With that being said, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll work on that, those vocalized pauses. I shall see you in the next video.